I am Plague of Gripes, and holy shit, do I have a headache right now. Woo! Alright. Check this shit out. Level 39. Agmar finally caught up. Good job, Agmar. You're still really, really far off, but still, you're up there. Oh, by the way, notice everyone's hitting 9s now. 99 speed, 99 stamina. Salim is right now the most powerful person in the party, in terms of base stats. His power is up to 87, and that is his weakest stat. The prince is at 78 speed. Everything else, 99. Uh, got genie shitty ass stats up, mainly by grinding uh, Dinar. Egmar! Stamina not looking so good, buddy. Not looking so good. Oh well. Okay. Let's see, what, what, what did I do? Oh, oh my gosh. I have a strawberry cheesecake hanging over. I, I don't know. Uh, you get a lot of money. You can farm triffids in the back of Alibaba's cave for a lot of money. There's a sleep sign in the back of there. You can use that to get lots and lots of money. Oh, Lord. Um, the Fire Nar. Fire Nar. This thing. Remember the thing that I was talking about for like half the playthrough? Yeah. Yeah, it's not worth it. Now, you notice it lowers the base thing down, it, which normally would be fine. Um, I think the idea of it was that it delivers one hit at that, at that base value, and then it sends out a second kind of fireball. It says fire was emanated from the sword or some other thing like that. And that deals additional damage. But either it's bugged or the developers are idiots. Because uh, the only thing it does is launch the fireball. And that's it. And it, I tested it on everyone. It does 100 less damage on everyone. So it's just it's a waste. Alright, let's get started. This is a teleporter. We do not want to use it yet because it will take us to a next area that has a locked door that we can't actually do anything with. Okay, I pray I am strong enough to get through all these guys quickly. Because <laughs> if you've been watching this playthrough, it's been a nightmare. It has been a nightmare because this is what this game is like. This is what this game is like. Okay. Ah, but this is the last area. This is the last area once we get to the end of all of this. Please be something. Oh, damn it. Uh, once we get to the end of this area, that will be the end of the game. And then we'll be through, and I'll be free from this playthrough. I, d I don't know what I'll do after this. I have no idea. Well, I, d I do not. I need to get started on another animation. I had just... I have gotten done with another one, but it won't appear until... I don't even know what today is, but at the uh, beginning of October. Which this dates the... Uh, dates the playthrough pretty heavily, but this is September of 2013, so October 2013, you will see new stuff, which you're, you're living now, so why am I telling you this? I, I have no idea what I'm doing. Ah, but some other things, uh, hold on, cancel, uh, Wormax. I never tested this, but I think that Worm Axe, in addition to removing poison, also can revive people from death. Although that never really came up more than like... I think it might have been useful one time. Because uh, most of the time I wasn't dying before Genie got the spell that does revive you. So, it, you know, it doesn't really matter all the way. If I do, it was, th that's a certainty. Something will one-hit me with one of those stupid eye glare techniques that they use. So that probably will happen, I'll test it then. If I can remember it, which I probably won't. Ah! But that, that, that's all that's been going on. That's all that's been going on, aside from my severe health problems. Which I have a headache now, but yesterday I was very ill. I couldn't really do anything then. I did manage to draw a picture for Matt, which you will probably see in the next few days. Unless you're watching this if you... But beyond then, in which case, never mind. Um, I don't remember the layout of this place, so this is going to be confusing for me too. But it doesn't matter, because I'm going to be attacked every two seconds anyways by erection golems. Kawaii erection golems that are blushing. So it gives me plenty of time to talk about absolutely nothing. Other than the fact that their pose never changes, they're always... They're always aroused, they're always jacking someone off and giving me a thumbs up. Yep, great job! 
Great job, Plague Sama! Would you like a hand job? No, I don't want a hand job. For the love of God, will you please stop asking? <sighs> Erection golems, leave me alone! No, I know that you're. What, what's the word for that? Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember all the Japanese shit. I'm not a big anime person, so. But the thing when they're. They like you, but they don't want you to know about it. Whatever that's called. I can't remember. I really don't care either. Don't leave a thing in the comments. I don't care. Go away. Go away, anime people. Go away. Um, what else? The pillow. Remember the pillow that was in the shop that I said was worthless? It does have one use. If you equip it, you do fall asleep during the next fight. But if that person stays awake, or, you know, without passing out from being killed, or whatever you want to call it, uh, through the next fight, then uh, after you're done with that fight, it restores all of their health points. Although, the genie can just do that with one spell, so why would you bother? What was I doing? The pillow dream folks are hungry to sleep, but... Yeah, that's really useful, isn't it? You would think if the developers are going to make you go through the trouble of reading these shitty things, then it would actually do something. Nope, not at all. Not at all. And I don't... Go away. What are you, urinating on yourself now? The last ones had shit all over their turbans. Now these guys are just pissing all over themselves. They can't make up their own minds. At least they keep their nails and toenails fashionable. You sexy, sexy... Feces and urine fetishist trolls. Anyways, yeah, that's what the pillow does. It's still pretty much worthless. Uh, gilding. You do start getting random drops from these things. I use some of them in addition to buying gildings from... Ulk, I think is the name of the place. <clears throat> I haven't explored any of this place yet. So, I don't remember the layout and we're going to be... Watching me wander around in circles, not knowing what I'm, what I'm doing. I do remember a few things about this place. Mainly that it sucks ass. And it does suck ass. Ooh, treasure chest. Oh, go away, diaper monsters. That's not nice. Last time I was talking about Final Fantasy, but I think that kind of ran its course. There wasn't much else I was going to say. Other than... I, I would really like to be able to talk more about things like characterization and storytelling and things like that, but I can't really concentrate and do this at the same time. This is the thing I was talking with... Oh, the poison R. The poison R is... God damn it. The thing... The poison R is the thing that if you... Yeah, 100. See, its base damage is very low. But if you hit someone, if you hit a monster with it, then it poisons them. So Agmar, if you're trying to... Like if I was trying to power level him... Uh, to the point where he was level 39 too, I would have to knock these two assholes out, where they can't learn anything from fighting, how dare they. And after that, I would have to uh, keep him alive and have him poison monsters, and then hide, and just wait for them to die. Like, I would hit them, I would hide, and then they would just kind of bleed out over time. Which I really liked that mechanic, it was fun. Unfortunately, it doesn't really have much use now, since I'm power leveled anyways. Plus, it would be pretty fucking boring watching me parry for, you know, turn after turn. Uh, the poison does stack, so you can poison someone, hit them, then poison them. Oh, come on. Really? What does this place even go off into? There's just like this giant void. This is the... the actually, the, this is probably signifying that there's a wall there. Actually, no, because it would put a wall there. I don't know. I really don't know. We are at the Tower of Jiklots. Um... The, the Tower of Jikalard is in a desert somewhere, I... whatever. It's in a desert somewhere, and we're trying to use the tower to get to the other world. Where Araman right now is, and plotting the destruction of the world. Even though he could probably do it right now, I, I don't know. It's, it's just flimsy gaming logic. We just need to go there and we need to kill him. That, that's the idea. That's it. Anyways, like I was saying, I would really like to be able to concentrate to be able to kind of do my... Remember my little gripes about horror? I'd like to do that sometime about um, things like writing, storytelling in general. Damn it, why'd I do that? Uh, there's a few other topics too. But I really can't concentrate and do this at the same time. I was talking with Matt the other day about... Well, they're doing a new thing and uh, 
They were talking about how Liam seems to be the one that's able to concentrate and do everything and talk at the same time. And I said, yeah, it's because he's young. And that is very true. I'm 30-something years old now. I can't even remember. I seriously can't remember how old I am. Um, and I can feel myself getting stupider over time. I used to be a pretty smart kid. My vocabulary was vast. I was saying shit all the time that of words I can't remember now because I am no think good no more. And this what the hell? Did he do that? Did I accidentally I accidentally equip that stupid shitty fire and sword, didn't I? Well, you got to see what it does. Absolutely nothing. Yep, that's what it was. Well, that was my demonstration. It was shit. But yeah, as you get older, kids, I'm sorry, but something like, you know how it's easiest to pick up a language when you're very young? That's because in terms of biology, the brain just picks up everything. Absolutely everything. And uh, as you get older, that, that kind of wears off and you get really dumb over time. And I can feel myself getting stupider. Like, I will be thinking about something. And it's just, it's gone. It's just gone. Well, I do that too, and I'm 14. No, you don't know the half of it, buddy. It is coming. It's coming for you. Okay. Uh, have I read that sign? See, I'm old, so I can't remember. I think I did, though. Okay, so this area should be clear. There might have been another area down in the steps. I can't remember. At least I'm not being attacked, like, really, really often in this area. In- oh, lord. Uh, Gailan and especially- what was the place I was just at? What- what- oh, please no. No! Oh, why? Why did you remove this tile, game developers? Prince, can you just kind of leap? Can, can you do like a- Oh. Can you mirror's edge that shit, Prince? Come on. Come on. Could you be a little bit more Asian? Please. Asian people jump good, don't they? That's pretty racist, yeah? Uh, I've noticed that the prince is strangely Aryan. Yeah, this is supposed to take place in sort of a pseudo-Middle East kind of thing. But the prince looks oddly European. Salim looks fine. Agmar looks... It kind of makes sense for Agmar, I guess, because he kind of seems like he's supposed to be a foreigner. Genie is... Yeah... Genie seems kind of racist, in a way. Plus, he keeps referring to me as Master, the Prince, the Aryan... The Aryan King Child. Oh, my Master, my Master. I don't know. A little racism never hurt anyone, right? Except for everyone. Did I go up here? Oh, Lord, please. A little racism never hurt anyone. I like a good racist joke every now and then. Want to hear my racist humor? Let's see. How many black people does it take to screw in a light bulb? One, you racist. And that's my racist humor. Okay, let's clear out these erection golems and move on with our lives. I think I might have already been up here. I promised you guys some time skips. I think it's the same place. This place is kind of confusing. But I promise you, you guys, some time skips, you're probably going to see some soon. Because I'm... I, I kind of... <laughs> since I'm concentrating on this and doing other things at the same time, I'm just wandering around. Looking at this Russian Golem's huge ball sack. Mildly distracting. Mildly distracting. I think I'll just... You know, fuck this area. Let's just go. Because there's probably nothing here. I can't remember what it is that I need to... I think I need a key. Because I can use a teleporter to get to the next area, but it's going to be locked. Plus, there is... I think a couple more spells in this area that you can pick up. Better than that, that's it. Um... Yeah, I really want to do some gripes about... Story writing. There's a chest up there I really need. Gripes about story... How did I even get here? I went this way. Okay, yeah. I want to do some gripes about storytelling. I oddly want to do some about uh, MMOs. I'm not even an MMO person, which in a way kind of qualifies me more than anyone else. Yeah, I have to use steps to get there. Qualifies me more than anyone else because I hate them. 
you would think, well, you only need people that love... No, you don't need people that love things to criticize them. Because they are the most qualified to, you know, jerk themselves off to it. It doesn't matter. Whereas if you get someone that has tried it, wants to like it, and absolutely hates it, that person is the most qualified to complain about it. Like fighting games. I've been arguing with Pat for weeks about this. Because I've, I've had to ask him about, like, getting a new stick and things like that. New, new stairwell? New stairwell? New stairwell? I don't think so. I'll just, I'll just go back to the other side. But I asked him about getting a new stick. We've been talking about things like Skullgirls and King of Fighters 13 since then. Um, and I get, I get in arguments with him all the time about how fighting games have... I mean, they've always kind of been this way, in a way, but... Ever since the early 90s, um, they have kind of turned into typing contests. Like, just the motions that you have to perform to be able to do certain things are, damn it, are so incredibly complicated that you can watch people that have been playing fighting games for years screw up when they're demonstrating because they can't do them very well. Whereas if you just had, like, a, a button that you held down, like, an alternator key or whatever you want to call it, that calls, like, the four normal buttons on a controller to do special moves or whatever, then, you know, it would be fine. But there, I know there's reasons why you don't do stuff like that. Because it's there's th concerns about the timing of doing certain moves, how powerful they are in response to that, how well you can chain things together, and so on, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's really annoying. It's Fighting games are almost as bad as RTSs in terms of... Uh, actually, they might be even worse. In terms of, uh, you know, uh, the uh, scaling in terms of, uh, oh God, um, your skill level. There's a huge, like, skill barrier to fighting games. Like, you can, like, say if you're playing, like, Smash Brothers, which obviously is a dumbed-down version of a fighting game. If you, oh, so it's not a real fighting game, blah, blah, blah. But, uh, it's, it's really intuitive, it's pretty easy to learn. Uh, the moves aren't complicated, you don't have to do, like, double, quarter, circle, half bat into, you know, pressing four buttons at the same time to get a move to work. It's just like down B, you know, up A, whatever. And that's it. But, um, a game like that, you can start playing it, and, like, by the end of the day, you pretty much got all the mechanical basics down. Whereas with a fighting game, any fighting game, only people that have played fighting games their whole lives can really, uh... Oh, everyone's getting nervous. Have played fighting games their whole lives can just pick up and sort of start playing it. And, uh, that's because of all the mechanics of it. It's a mess. Which I really like the idea of playing a fighting game. Which I would probably... Ah, here it is. This is where I want to go. Go then. I really like the idea of fighting games. I wish I could play them well, but it's just something that just takes absolutely forever to get into. Like, uh, RTSs. I remember playing... I remember playing, uh... Oh, what's it called? Age of Empires. Age of Empires. I didn't know what an RTS was at the time, being little me, little Eli Jr. And, uh... All I wanted to do was build a pretty town. That's all I wanted to do. I wasn't con concerned about speed. I just liked watching everyone move around and do their own thing. I liked taking my time, placing things where I thought they looked good. I was basically sort of playing it like Minecraft or something. And, uh, that's, <laughs> that's not how you play RTSs. That's for damn sure. Why is this room here? Is this where they keep all the latent frustration? It's been building up over time in this tower? No, because that's in me! What? What? Eh? Ah. Yeah. I don't know. Wait. Huh? I don't know. I don't know, guys. Haha! -ha. I can get in here. Oh, come on, I was hoping to be at spell. The small door won't. No, but it'll lead you to another place. That's really useful, isn't it? Okay, thanks Thanks for that, sign. Can I go down? No, I can't go down here, can I? No. Oh, well. 
Uh, come on, don't make me go in a big circle. That's that's it? That's all there was up here? What was the point of even having this area? God damn you. Game designers. You know, this game is really like a something that someone in, like, RPG Maker would make. Seriously. Do you remember that? No, I, I don't mean the PC version. There was one for the PlayStation that I actually bought that because uh, my best friend and I were I had like a GameStop or something. I don't remember. And uh, it was some other store. I can't remember one out of business. Um, and we said one of us has got to get this because we had two games we were interested in. Wait, there's nothing even up here. There's nothing even up here. I swear, what were these steps here? Because this area doesn't have anything. This is just a room. This is just a room. This is just another room. And I... I already went up that one. What was that? Waste of time. Waste of time. That's this game in a nutshell. Jesus. Go to sleep, all of you. No. You've been a bad, naughty scorpion with your dumb little... Wall face? Actually, I guess it is really supposed to be a beak, but I really like to imagine that this is just like a little head. Like, hi, I'm a scorpion. Can I stick my stinger up your butt? No. No, get away, scorpion. Get away, pubic hair minotaur creature ogre cyclops. Good job, Agmar. Alright, there's nothing else... I really hope that this leads somewhere. Oh, God. Oh, no. This means I've forgotten something. Yeah, I've missed something. You know what, guys? I'm going to have to do a time skip because I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to make you... Cause you've already seen everything. I will go through and I will explore and we'll come back here later. All right, see you guys in a second. Okay. Um, I had to go back to the right side because there was something I missed. You have to... Uh, I'll, I'll just show you here in a second. But I found this. A new thing, I... It, it, it's a heal-all. Yay, I got heal-all, yay. Oh, Genie, you're still marginally... Actually, you're still... You're still completely worthless. But I can now do this. And it'll heal everyone, which I don't even need to do right now. Okay, um, the fact that he can return the lamp kind of trivializes a lot of things. Assuming that you're not so underleveled that you're just being overpowered all the time. This is something I've... Oh, it is another one. Okay. Alright, there's probably two more spells in the whole game that I can learn. Because I have, uh... Two more slots, as you can see. I forgot what the last two are, though. I might have just straight up missed them. I, I don't quite remember. I know that two of them are kind of difficult to get in the sense that you can miss them pretty easily. But I'm on the second level? Or like a third or something in this place. I don't know, man. But let's use this new thing. This damages everyone. And it's still, like, it doesn't even really do anything. I mean, as a damage dealer, uh, Genie is kind of worthless. I mean, his basic attacks don't hurt at all, of course. Um, his spells don't really hurt. He's really only there to use Almati, or whatever you want to call it. And that's pretty much it. That's all he does. I mean, he's shitty. He's a, he's a shitty human being. And a shitty genie to boot. Okay, where am I? Where am I? I'm lost. I really can't remember. Because <laughs> this place is so huge. It. Oh, I'm in a new place, apparently. Wait. Yes, this is it. Okay. Remember the stupid dildo snorks? Well, each of these boxes has one in it. They don't damage you. But... I think you can kill them if you... Okay. Whenever he casts that, it transports you to another part of the, the map. So these chests ne always stay closed. So I know that can be a little bit confusing if you're not really expecting it. Ew! Did you make that basilisk? Look at what you did. Clean that up. It's disgusting. Periton? Sounds like just some guy. Periton! Where's that shit stain that you created? Oh my god! Get that report to me on Tuesday. Blah, blah, blah. What is this? Bail IQ. It's probably a thing? I don't know. It's, it's kind of terribly made as this game is, it seems. 
Um, I will give them credit that they apparently did their research with a lot of these names. Like, uh, oh, I will... Each of these goes to another place, I'm sure. I'll try to use this. But a lot of these, like, look at the item names. Like, uh, well, we don't have it yet. Falsehood, that's more of a standard thing. Shock rum, of course. Uh, damn it. Oh, no! Chris. And Herberg, and we get a couple more later that are obviously... They're actual weapons. I mean, you can look them up. It's pretty interesting. I always appreciated that in games. One of my favorite games. Actually, I will take that back now because it's irritating too. It's Vagrant Story. I really like Vagrant Story. Although mostly because of its crafting system. Oh, yes. Yes, I love the crafting system of Vagrant Story. Because it was, uh... It was just sort of obtuse enough that, um... It took a while to figure out how things worked, but it was also very rewarding because it didn't matter if you just had nothing but a big pile of junk. If it was the right kind of junk, then you could just start combining all of its best elements together and you could end up with some sort of god sword. And it was great! I love that about that game. The combat, however, was something else entirely. It also doesn't hold up visually. And, um... This, the story is kind of silly, but it, it it takes place in that uh, Final Fantasy Tactics universe. Um, I think that's also the universe that Final Fantasy XII takes place in. Which is interesting. Now here's another one. After war. After war. All light wizards will protect you and smash your enemies. It's cool. I really don't know what that means. What is this? Because this is attack all. Is this just another one? I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll test it out in the next fight. Or I'll just... Ah, uh, whatever. I'm getting tired of fighting these feces things already. Um, I want to see what it's... Okay, here we go. After war. It does... This might blow them away. This might be a spell that... No, it doesn't? Oh, it is just another one. Why would they give me two in this... Why would they give me two? That is useful sometimes because sometimes you want to bring, for whatever reasons, in other games, you might want to bring an enemy down to like, you know, one health. So you can use a morph ability or, you know, something like that. But in this game, there's no point to that. So wh why... Really, th there was no reason to have the genie have this many spells. This is the final area. Yes, the key of two. This path will take me back. I just need to remember that. I'm going to... Okay, there is nothing else. Hmm. Um... I'm going to stop here for a second, guys, because I need to go back and check and see if those other areas are cleared. That's going to be boring. All right, be back in a second. Hi! It turns out I'm an idiot. This is the place that I needed to be going. Sort of. Um... Huh? What? Maybe it wasn't. Did I go too far? <coughs> yeah. Okay. Wait, wait. I bet this is... Ah, oh, damn it. I thought it was uh, going to be a cool-ass sword. But it's not. It's not a cool-ass sword at all. Maybe this is a cool-ass sword. Yes, it is a cool-ass sword! Yes! Tell War, I think this is... No, it's not. Is, is it Prince's weapon? Oh, that's right. He gets the other one. Yes, I think this is the final this is the final thing you can equip Prince with. I love that name, Tell War. That sounds awesome. But this a it's a good weapon. It will make him very strong. Sort of. It'll make him moderately strong. GD, however, remains shitty. Uh Vagrant Story, yes, I love Vagrant Story. Uh it's something that I've considered actually doing a playthrough of sometimes, but uh I don't know. It's it's pretty long, and a lot of it is, uh... I don't know. It probably wouldn't make a really good playthrough. It's something you would have to do with another person. I know that Pat really likes, um... Vagrant Story, but I think it's one of those games that... Oh, I'll never do playthrough of that. I'm stupid. I love cocks in my butt. You know, the way he does. He does that exactly. Exactly. He told me. He told me that he loves cocks in the butt. That's not a very good lie, but, you know, whatever. Um... 
what the hell was I saying? Oh, Vagrant Story, yes. Vagrant Story is good in the sense that I think it's one of the few games that was uh, given a 10 out of 10 by that famous Japanese magazine, whatever the hell it is. And it, it really deserves it. Uh, for the time, of course. Now it doesn't look good, and it, you know, its combat system isn't for everyone. It's it's action-y, but at the same time kind of turn-based, because of its weird combo system. Which is not particularly fun. And it's really weird. Is there anything... There is... Ugh, I better go down this one first. Or was this the... Oh, this is where I just went? Okay, okay. So I am just going back. And I've already read that sign, that was the spell. Okay, so now I know where I'm going. Alright, good. Because I dropped back down to where I was. Alright, alright. We're set, guys. I'm not insane. Not ins Well, I'm not that insane. I'm only partially insane. We're still good to go. Another game that I really like that is kind of similar in theme to sort of Vagrant Story in this game even is uh, an old DOS game. Yes, I'm going there. Called Lands of Lore. And that game is fucking awesome. It's one of these old games where... Um, for the time, its graphics were amazing. But of course, that was for its time. This is like very early 90s, I think. Maybe even the 80s, I don't remember. Probably not the 80s. But, uh... This one. Go up to the top one. The top one is where you want to go to finish this area. Remember, if you, if you kill these guys, you get a shitload of money. If you can actually kill them before they transport you. Which is probably not likely. Although you can do it sometimes. Um, but it, Defenders, not Defenders, what is it, god damn it, um, oh, Lands of Lore, Lands of Lore is a great game, um, it's one of these games that uses 2D drawings, uh, in sequence to make these cool looking monsters, really great atmosphere, kind of spooky in a way, uh, let's, see, free pillow, and what do we got here, we got a gigantic ass bird, it's the rock, the rock wants me wants to carry me to the other world. What's the matter? You don't trust the rock? Oh, he's oh he's going to, I have to wrestle the rock in order to get to the other world. I don't have a very funny joke about that other than it's just do, do, I, do, I don't I don't remember the legend of the rock other than it's just a really big gas bird and that's it. Something about it blotting out the sun because it's so big, and that's pretty much it. Is there some actual, like, legend behind it? I don't know. But he's a big ass bird, and now he's a dead big ass bird. That gives me a lot of experience points. Alright, The Rock. Yes, you do lose. You had the job to me. I'm sorry, The Rock. I'll take you to the other world whenever you want, but I can only take you there. So he's kind of lazy. He's not actually going to help me fire anything, he's just going to, like, throw me. Going alone. So, are you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love that animation. No, it's okay. It's pretty cool. At last! Finally! The rock has come back to the other world. Uh. Okay. This is the, the final area. We had some areas to clear, but that's it. I think I'm going to save this for the finale, though. So this is the end of part 10. Part 11 should be the finale. Alright guys, it's been a long road, we're almost there. See you then!